map for GTA. So the reason why I'm here is you'll notice like the roof tiles, they appear like they have extra depth based on the point of view. See what I mean? So depending on the camera's angle, it's actually manipulating how the texture map looks to give it extra depth. You can see as it gets towards the edge of the roof, the illusion starts to break down because in this case, the parallax bias is kind of ramped up. So like another example in the interior is like these, the wooden parts of uh, the wall texture here is are also parallax. So you, it looks like it has a lot of depth here, but it's actually like completely flat. but it's like doing its best based off the camera angle to give it depth. So for something like this, the parallax bias is like uh, not set very high, but then for something like, you know, the roof tiles it would be set higher or for something like, I also did a parallax map for the rocky texture of the fireplace here. So you can see like, depending on the camera angle, it actually looks like, you know, like the individual rock surfaces are, are three dimensional, but it's really just an illusion. So it's basically just like an enhancement of the normal bump map. So, and I also used it for like this wood trim so and because this kind of trim has like a lot of you know sharp edges and angles you can see like where the like it, it works best where there's actually light to work with it but you can see there's actually some distortion in the corners of it where the light is hitting and that's because of the parallax bias it's it's not perfect especially for things with more precise angles like this it's, it's more suited for or at least on the extreme end more suited for rocky stuff like this so, you know, if we look in the game room where there's stronger light, you can see it looks like really three dimensional there, but you can see it does cause like some slight distortion. So I basically like ramped this up as much as I could while minimizing the distortion for these parts. Whereas the rocky surfaces have more of a parallax bias. So for this, I actually need to boot up 3D Max 2017 because it doesn't seem to work properly with the newer material editor. So this is something I kind of figured out just through experimenting with GTA shaders. So I have these textures here. So I actually already generated this alpha map but I'll just drop it in a new folder for now so what we have here is uh, our diffuse map this is like the, the normal regular texture map that you'll see then we have this is uh, ambient occlusion this helps the game tell it where it should try and put shadows basically like that yeah AO this is the height map so this will like uh, enhance the bump map effect and then here's the the normal bump map so this is what will make it actually look three-dimensional and then the height map here will enhance that effect even more so the thing is you can use a shader in GTA for height map which works pretty decent but it doesn't give like that same, doesn't make it look as three dimensional as a parallax map. The parallax map actually really tries to alter how it looks based off of the camera angle. Okay, so I'm gonna start up GIMS. 
This is relatively simple to do, but if you don't know the trick of it, you just won't know how to do it. So I'm just going to go over it quick. Convert that to a poly. So in the older versions of Max, we have like the more standard material editor with the older map slots. So we'll plug in our textures. So here's our diffuse, diffuse color, just click display, show shaded material in viewport, and this one as well, apply that, all right? So right now it's just like a flat image. So now we'll add in our bump map slot, normal bump map. Oh, and the other thing that you got to keep in mind too is like it has to be a PNG for it to generate the alpha map correctly, the alpha merged map. A lot of times you'll download uh, textures from a website and they'll come as a TIFF or like some kind of uncompressed format. Okay, so now we have the bump map. So if I put this up to 80. Still doesn't seem to make a difference, but if we go materials, realistic materials with maps. Actually, we need to give it some specular value too. So you can see now it actually, although this is still a flat image, it's like making it appear three dimensional with the bump map, right? So now, at this point, you'll be thinking, oh, well, where's the height map slot? Height map is basically displacement. So we'll put it, plug in the height map in the displacement slot. Making sure we're picking the PNG version. Okay, so this won't actually make much difference in the viewport. It's more on render. We don't really need to play with this value. So at this point, we have the whole material set up. So all we have to do, so the thing is, uh, with the 2017 Max and this material editor, when you go to convert this to a GTA shader, uh, it'll automatically do its best to like pick the appropriate shader and plug in these image or these textures into the appropriate slots. So, if we look back in my folder here, so I I put the alpha merge that I s had generated before into this folder here. So there, it's not currently in this folder. But now when I, with this selected, see default standard material. As soon as I click options on this, it's gonna ask me, would you like to convert this to a GTA material? Yes, I would. It's going to think for a second and then boom, it, it noticed that we had a normal map and uh, a height map plugged in. So it chose the parallax shader for us. And now we have this bump RGB plus height texture, the alpha merged. So now if we go back into our folder here, we have this map. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Beyond that, it will take a little bit of tweaking. So like by default, it'll have this scale bias set pretty low. For most applications, that's probably fine. Uh, but for something that's like, you know, more of a, like a rocky texture or those roof tiles where we want it to be a little more extreme, you can try ramping this up, but there, comes a certain point where like if you go too far it just starts to really break things and it'll just look like total ass so i mean you'll just have to play with this a little bit keep nudging it along and trying it out in game and then just finding a good balance of what works for you and then also keep in mind it's going to look 
dramatically different based on different light settings like so if it's outdoors and the sun's hitting it it's going to look way different than what it would look like in the shade so if i open up uh an iv also i guess we could take a look at this in photoshop so yeah as you can see it's got this like transparency to it now and this is essentially how you know it's generated properly. It's actually merged both the bump map and the height map into one map. And it's done it in such a way that the game knows what to do, knows what to do with it. If it doesn't have this transparency, it's probably not going to work right. So you can see, like, if I just put a background in, you can see it more clearly. So that's how you make a parallax map for GTA 